One very well known criminal is known as he decided to kill me. Forty banks, including credit unions and building societies, were attacked in New South Wales. Many of these did not have the latest security. Some banks have been robbed as many as four times, and staff exposed to repeated traumas. In the old days, I mean, the, the safe robber, he was the, the safe blower, he was the, he was the smart prim, he was the, the top of the echelon of, uh, of the criminals, and uh, so they always feared getting, you know, a couple of sticks of jelly. You don't feel, feel any sympathy for the victims of violent crimes. How do you reconcile that? 
Oh, look, for, for victims of violent crime, real violent crime, yes. You know, someone's been scarred, uh, hurt, shot, shot, shot. Okay. Um, but these people that, that, you know, what are they suffering from? Um, they'll tell you anything that they they can't go into a bank that they've worked in anymore or uh, you know, they can't go to a counter anymore and have someone come up to them because they've got this uh, some sort of phobia that, that they've created. That's absolutely bullshit. I fully understand everyone in them banks hating me, you know what I mean? I would completely understand that. just the bank's security failures and the violence of an attack that cause the victims great trauma. There is also the question of what happens to the victims after the event.
and those robberies, people dressed in balaclavas with sledgehammers, who come in with full menace, yelling and screaming, frightening the death out of the customers and the owners of the store.